Yellow guys and welcome back to the long dark. I'm MG Rose and in between episodes I kind of made a big boo-boo. We died. We died of hypothermia in our sleep. So I left it there for you guys to see. Um, we did end up lasting a full three days and three hours. 21 minutes, can't forget the minutes too. We discovered nine locations. We only explored 6% of the world. That's atrocious. Um, we spent more more hours indoors than we did outdoors. And then we still died of hypothermia. Never mind. All right, anyway, guys, let's go back and we'll start a new world. We're going to start on a different map. And we're going to try again. I'm going to stick to the voyage, everyone. Um, we're going to try the mystery lake, the first one. So it's ideal for new players, so we might actually survive a bit longer in this one. Eight attempts, eight attempts, eh, guys? <laughs> oh, I'm useless. Anyway, guys, how are you all? How are you all? I hope you're all super fine, fan dabby eh? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Um, Like I say, it's, I'm both recording all these on the same night, so I am still a bit poorly, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better. It shouldn't be too much longer before I'm back to the good old Minecraft. Um, come on, let's just load up, see where we are. Boom. We're kind of hidden inside rocks. Cool ish. What's this down here? Is this a dead body already? Yes, it is. And some wood. Oops, wrong button. I need to sort the sensitivity out on this too. Oh, hunting knife. Nice. Why do all these bodies look like they died in pain? And we'll take that. Right, let me open the backpack and put them cut that clothing on that we've just found. There, it's warmer than the other one. You can see. Right, let's head out and see what we can find. I hope there's no bears around here. Because it says that the hunting wife's not a weapon. Dave's quiet clearing. So that means there's not going to be no out to eaters around here. Guys, I'm just going to pause the game and I'm going to look on the map, see where we are, right, right quickly. And hopefully I'll be able to work out somewhere for us to go. And I'm just going to pause the recording here while I do so as well, guys. So I shall see you in a second. Toodle pip. Right, guys, we're back. We're back. Um, we're not actually far from any anything, really. We have got a couple of locations we can go to. Let's gather some sticks on the way. There's a couple of locations we can go to once we get out of this little valley area. I am nervously listening and out for wolves as well, though, because I'm not sure if there's going to be a lot of them around here or not. To me, it makes sense that there would be. Not like we're wanting them. Sorry guys, this coughs. Keeps coming and going. Right, we've got two choices of directions. Up or down. And um, we'll go up. Probably going to regret it, but I figure if we go up now while we're at our most rested, we've got four hours of daylight left. So it's going to start getting dark in about two. Two, three hours, something like that. Staying down here, we're shielded from wind mostly. So temperature's not going down as quick. I'm already preferring this map to the other one. Don't want to pick too many up because it will just weigh us down. But just enough to keep us going for a bit. Cause wherever we find, I don't know whether there's going to be any wood in. Nobody's going to need a stick, are they, really? If it's already on the floor, it's for us to take. And there's nobody around here. Don't worry about other people. Let's just focus on getting ourselves to stay alive. 
It would be pretty cool though to play this as a multiplayer and have you all start off at different locations in map and have to try and find each other. That'd be really cool. Let's see where we're going. Uh, only opening out to another pathway here. Don't know. Lake Trail. Lake Trail. Oh, there should be a cabin around here somewhere, if I remember rightly. Ha ha, there is. Let's just pick up the stick, please. Deer. It's alright. Let's not be too worried. Alright, let's go in here. Let's go in here. See what's what in here while we've got daylight. Oh, seems quite a nice place. Oh, and there's a fire stove here as well. Just in case nightfall falls, we've got somewhere to eat up. She's already warming up now, she's indoors anyway. Got something for a lantern and something for accelerant. Oh. And um, what's in this first aid kit? Antibiotics, cracking, bandage. And painkillers, great stuff. Oh, we've got stuff to go fishing with too. Oh, we've got a hook at least. Is that? Oh, it is fishing lines. If I remember rightly, you can make it on this workbench here together to make a... Oh, wait a minute, how do you make a snare? So you need guts and clay and wood. So that would come in handy for us to... Um, rabbit hunting, that's the one. Hunt some rabbits now. Right. Let's see what's in here now. Anything worth having? Bandage, okay. Oh, jerry can. We haven't found a lantern though. I want that stone. I haven't seen a lantern anywhere. So normally on worktops and stuff like that. I'm just run upstairs right quickly in a second and get these tins of soup. We'll check the cupboards and stuff, like the filing cabinet and that in a bit. I just want to see if I can find a lantern while it's still got some light coming through here. Oh, there's a body there. Is there a lantern anywhere? Don't look like it. Crates are both empty. Another bedroll, books and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, no lights are, so. Hmm. Right, we'll see what he's got on him. Nothing. Most of the corpses have nothing on him. Just double checking, I aren't missing anything. Check these filing cabinets. Yep, it's in a crafty room. Is there anything hiding under here? Not that I can see. Anything hiding under these? No. Can't see anything hiding in here. Is that it? Pitch black. No, there ain't. Let's stand back up again. Stand back up again. Thank you. Press one button first time round, guys. Hmm. So no, there's no lantern. So once nightfall comes, it's pitch black in here. Um. But hopefully, be able to sleep the majority of the night over. We need to start reading them books as well when we've got time because them books do help us get better at doing things and stuff. Always handy. Did we search that? 
Yeah, they did. Right. Stand near the window a minute. We're not hiding down there, no. Not hiding under the beds, so. though. Magnifying glass. I'm not too worried about a magnifying glass. What wrong button? Right. Don't want to start the fire yet, Lord. I don't even know why I clicked it then. Right, what I want to do is I want to get. No, it's not the books, it's the newspaper. Where's the newspaper gone? There. I want to turn these into Tinder plugs. More Tinder then. That's where I ended up falling short in between episodes and dying, guys. I had no Tinder at all for a fire, so we froze. Right, that's going to lower his temperature, isn't it? Yeah. So would that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy them. And we'll use them to repair some of the clothes that we've got. I'm gutted because I just repaired all those clothes up to bloody 100%, apart from his gloves that we had. Well gutted. Never mind. Never mind. Right, that one's lowest one down, so we'll repair that. So you can use fishing line to repair it. It's cool. And again. And we failed. Try again. Come on, before it gets too dark. You can't do repairing in the dark, guys. I can't remember if I said that or not, but you physically can't. Right, no. So you can't repair in the dark. Night time came before we had a chance, right? I don't want the metal pan, I want the stove. Thank you. Um. I don't want to burn that book yet. Burn that one. What accelerant do we have? One, two, three, and then the lamp oil. Um, we're not in no dead rush, so we can use it without that. Might as well. We're not. We're not freezing to death, for all. It's just basically so we can continue to see. Come on, light, please. Please be nice and light for me. Then I think we'll go. We'll um, explore the lake next because we're right next to the lake. So we might explore that and see what we've got in the fishing huts and stuff. Right, let's add some more fuel to this, please. We'll add all of it. We can hunt more down. We've got reclaimed wood in here. Right, let's get some water and go melt that down. Figure we might as well do it now while we've got the fire up and running. Might as well make use of it. I didn't want to only boil that much. I wanted to boil the whole lot. Like a fool, I didn't pay any attention to what I was doing. Let's do the whole lot, please. Yeah, we can't let his character go to sleep either until she's tired enough to stay asleep, guys, because I'm not messing about. Right, what were it, was it then we was trying to repair? Well, we might as well not bother now, because um, things like these need repairing more. Let's get them repaired. Nine hours of darkness left. Right, we can't repair no more. We haven't got the stuff. We do need to drink. We need to eat something as well. We'll have to open it using a hunting knife. Cut our poor little mouth open while drinking the t cold tomato soup. You'd think soup would help with your first level as well, wouldn't you? But obviously not. 
Right, where's the bed? There. Right, we've got eight hours of darkness left. So we'll sleep them eight hours away then. Oh, well, please don't tell us we've woke up in a blizzard. Saying questionable hours of darkness left. I don't hear it sounding like a blizzard. Oh, shut up, woman. You and your attitude. God, she's got a nice sucky attitude on her. And we have no light form. I thought literally nothing for light apart from our matches, which we really don't want to use because we're going to need them. Yeah, and literally all we have is mattress. Uh, mattress matches. Um, don't even know where we are. We're in the room. Hmm. Let's take them off out of his hands just so we don't end up accidentally lighting them. I'm trying to find a way downstairs, like table there, bed there. Is this it? Draw. Yeah. It's got a question mark for what, how much hours of darkness we've got. That's a chair. Yeah, I'm trying to find something we can use for reclaim wood. Can we use that? No. Don't want to leave the lamp light of the office if it's dark. It's saying it's there's a blizzard or something. Don't even know where we are. Workbench. I kind of know where we are, but it's literally now nothing possible to see. Leave the office. No, we don't want to leave. Can we head in our so we're stuck in a wedge here. Oh, this is practically impossible to move around in the dark. I am just trying to find some reclaimed wood though. It sounds like we're moving upstairs. Where Yeah, we are upstairs. Now it looks like it could be lightening off a little bit. I know there should be some crates up here somewhere. Where are the crates? There is a bed there. Right, where's the window? There. Right, the crates should be around here somewhere then, shouldn't they? Table, crates. There they are. I'm sorry guys, I know it's all completely pitch black for you guys. But I'm trying to rectify that issue. <laughs> was it a chair? Yes, there was. So chairs we can take down with his hands, it's just tables and stuff we need a hatchet for. Yeah. Let's see if we can find the stove now. Right, where's the window? I know the stove's near the window. Metal pan, that means we found the stove. A bit lower down. Oh, where is it? Yeah, if the bed's off to his left. I'm going to have to use a match for this because I can't see nothing. I can't work out where we are there. Right. Really, really nice. Sorry, I'm yawning, guys. I don't mean to. Come on. Come on. 
Maybe there. Yes. Right. Don't want to add too much to start with, guys. I am going to do another 50 litres of this while we're here. I wish you could see outside the windows. We're just going to stay here near the fire and eat something. Oh god, we're nearly out of food already, guys. Let's see how much food we had then. Oh, my cat's on the move again. Uh, wrong button again, it's this one that I wanted. Right, so it's still hungry. And it's still not giving us a time left of night time. So what I might do, guys, is I might just wait it out a little bit. Speed this bit up until we get out and about. Again, until it gets safe enough to be out and about again, shall I say. We have to do some see if there's any foraging we can do for food as well once we get out of here because we need something to eat. How much foraging is that going to be? Just add a bit more on there. Um, past time where and read book research an hour. Daylight coming up. Yay, we have daylight again, guys. We have daylight. How long's left on that? Just two minutes. We have daylight. Let's go and start our missions. Don't hear nothing, but I'm not guaranteed to hear anything. I don't know how whether the game mechanics work that way. I don't see anything. Right, we're going to head off onto the lake, guys. Oh, we'll go get that dead body over there first. That's right, I ain't got no worth taking. Bit of food, can't turn his nose up at that. And more food. Great stuff. Um, I think we can eat some of these cattail thingies. I think. But, I can't remember. But I know we can use them for fires as well, so... We might as well get a mystery lake. I really don't like hearing it crunching under his feet. Oh, I know you're cold, girl, I know. There's a cabin over there. Right in the distance. Could use the cabin to do some fishing as well, guys. And I know the cabins have all got heat sources in them. Um, I don't really want to be walking all over this stuff, but I want to see if there's any of them cattail things over here. Don't look like it. Oh, it does. It's one here, look. Oh, chill out, woman. God, she just freezes so much. I think she'd be able to handle a little bit more distance, wouldn't you? She supposedly survived longer than the rest of the world. She should be quite tough. I'm hoping that this lake won't 
have weak ice points because obviously it's a fishing lake so I'd assume it'd be quite a thick layer of ice over the top of it by now what's that tinder plug no tackle matches anything up there temperature's still going down Yeah, most definitely could use that. Right, but there's got to be a better, better lot of loot we can risk it. Risking it for a biscuit, hey eh, guys. I think there's four fishing cabins on this lake somewhere, but she's not going to handle it. She's really not going to handle it, so we're going to have to warm her up a little bit. I'll just open to find one with a door on because there's no point starting the heating up anything until we've got a door on it. Can we see where the other ones are? Can I see the other huts from here? There's land over there. Not wrong button. That's from where we've just come from. Um let's see what's over this way. See any more than cat reeds. Oh, there's another hut over there. Cat reeds. I'm keeping an eye on that freezy monitor down there because it eight it's at eighty five ninety five percent at a minute, but once that starts dropping we do start suffering from hyperthermia and stuff. See if we can make it. We just gotta get as many of these as we can. And then we'll get down to that one because that one's got a door on it. We'll get down to it and we'll get a warm. I know, sorry guys, I went really, really quiet then. But once we get in here, I think it's time to call it an end of an episode, guys. Sorry guys, I don't know what happened there. Me, I cut off, Um, I was just saying, right, we, I carried on speaking after cutting off. There were some places there. What we're going to do is we're going to get in here, we're going to warm up. But I've already explored it while I was saying my goodbyes. But yeah, we're going to get her warmed up right quickly so that the hypothermia risk is dropped a little bit more and then we're going to move on down to them cabins and see what we can find over there for next episode so guys if you have enjoyed the episode please do feel free to go ahead and smack that like button comments hints tips tricks ideas all that jazz please do leave them down in the comment section below and if you are new to the channel do feel free to become part of the family and smash that subscribe button always amazing to have you join us but other than that guys Go out and have yourselves an absolutely fan dabby doozy day. I've been MG Rose. You've all been absolute total and utter superstars, as pure usual. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>